and good morning. Welcome to the SCI UK 2025. We are now on the large Babcock booth as the British company is uh, involved in the Type 31 program here in the UK and has two active programs uh, for Harrowhead 140, their ship design in both uh, Poland and in Southeast Asia and Indonesia. And to find out more about this program, I'm very pleased to meet with Sir Nick Hein. He's a former Second Sea Lord of the Royal Navy and now the Chief Executive of Babcock Marine. Sir Nick Hein, good morning, great to see you. Thanks David, welcome to uh, Babcock Stand DSA 25. Thank you very much for your warm welcome, uh, first being on the first day of the SEI. So uh, please uh, share with us uh, the current status of uh, the Harrowhead 140 for uh, Babcock, uh, starting, uh, for, starting with the Royal Navy here. Uh, so you're currently, uh, you have currently one ship uh, well underway, I guess you recently launched and it's currently figuring out and that's the first vessel for the Royal Navy. So yeah, so uh, thank you very much. So five ships from contract awards to deliver to the customer in 10 years, that's a really good program I think for the Navy, so the customer is doing well. Uh, program's doing well, we're going very well with our uh, three ships that are currently in build, so as you mentioned HMS Ventura um, floated out in May, she's now being fitted out uh, in one of our docks in Rosyth. HMS uh, Campbelltown and Active are both in build in the build hall, uh, and we're getting on preparing for boats four and five. So we're on track to do as we said we would do, which was five ships in ten years. Uh, and in terms of um, other programs, so Poland, as you know, three ships currently being built in Poland, Miecznik. They're both going well, so we have a very strong relationship with our partner in Poland, PGZ, uh, and we're working together to deliver those to time, and we hope that they may wish to buy some more in the future. Uh, and Indonesia, Meriputa, um, again, working with our uh, partners, PT Pal in Indonesia, to deliver those. So, 10 ships overall uh, in the program, so not a bad start, and, and, and I'm on record as saying I want to make sure that we can deliver have on contract or being in build 31 type 31s by 2031. Uh, what's next for, uh, in addition to these very important ongoing programs, what's next for uh, Babcock Marine? Uh, what's the, the outlook? Uh, are you looking at further opportunities uh, here locally for the Royal Navy or also elsewhere around the world? Uh, I understand you're proposing a red 140 design to other countries, uh, I believe uh, New Zealand is one of them. There's also uh, discussions going on in Northern Europe. So, I mean, I, I, as the former customer Second Sea Lord, I, I am sort of guilty and responsible for pushing this system, uh, pushing the ship into the, into the Royal Navy because I genuinely believe it's the ship that navies are going to need. It's affordable, it's adaptable, it's available. So we're looking hard at opportunities in the Nordic countries, so Sweden and Denmark. Uh, we're looking hard at opportunities in New Zealand uh, and elsewhere around the globe where we think there may be uh, an opportunity for people who want a ship that allows you to deliver you know, um, a complex warship in a relatively short time at a good price with a very small crew and high availability. I mean, it's a, it's a great prospect. Sir Nick Hein, thank you very much. Thanks, Steve. Thank you very much.